Good morning, Quartha Heights, and welcome to our morning video announcements for Friday, April the 24th. Aujourd'hui, c'est vendredi, le 24 avril. Today is the last day of Volunteer Appreciation Week, and there are a few special people we still have to recognize. Today, we honor and thank the following people. Mrs. Odie would like to send a big thank you to Mrs. Talon Murda, Mrs. Davies, Mrs. Wadaby, and Ms. Hawley for helping with trips earlier this year. Ms. Bartlett and Ms. Jones would like to thank Mrs. Eccles, Mrs. Kula, and Ms. O'Connell Holmes who helped their class go on the paper bag princess trip. And Ms. Baker would like to thank Ms. Robertson for her help on the paper bag princess trip, Ms. Walker and Mrs. Hawley for helping out at the Remembrance Day assembly, and to Mrs. Baker for knitting mittens for all of our friends at the school. One last big thank you to all of our volunteers on this special Volunteer Appreciation Week. Did you know that today is National Pigs in a Blanket Day? If you're someone who loves these little treats, maybe I've helped you to figure out what to have for dinner tonight. Here are today's announcements. Today we'd like to wish Lennox in Ms. Bartlett and Ms. Jones' class, Gina in Mrs. Beaton's class, Curtis in Ms. Baker's class, and our very own Mrs. Hansen, a very happy birthday. We hope you have a fantastic day. On this Friday, let's take one more look at our new distance learning Cougar Roar. We're going to look at the last R, which stands for responsibility. When we're responsible in distance learning, we stay organized, we check Edsby or our Google Classroom regularly, we own our own actions and choices, and we are role models for others. Kawartha Heights, you're doing a great job with your distance learning. Remember to keep thinking about our distance learning cougar roar. We have a few friends who shared some pictures with us today. Jackson sent us a picture showing him working hard in his mother's office at home. And Kyrie was very busy yesterday making brownies. They look so yummy. And now for our Friday joke of the day. What did the left eye say to the right eye? Between us, something smells. As we head into the weekend, feel free to send along any pictures or jokes that we can share during next week's morning video announcements. It's time for our mindful moment, so find a comfy place to sit and let's spend a few minutes grounding ourselves this morning. Let's get comfortable and when you're ready, close your eyes. Let your body sink into your chair. Allow yourself to just relax naturally. Take in a few deep breaths and exhale slowly as you begin to relax your body fully. This morning, imagine a really cute and cuddly little cartoon turtle. He's not real, of course but I'm sure you can see him very clearly in your mind. He can stand on his back legs and he has little turtle flippers, big eyes, a funny nook nose, and a silly smile. You see a twinkle in his eye. This is the thankful turtle. Isn't he adorable? The thankful turtle is here to remind us all the things that we have to be thankful for, even when our days are sometimes rough. First of all, the little happy turtle reminds you that you woke up this morning. Yes, thank goodness you woke up to a beautiful day of life, a life that holds adventure and many surprises. You think to yourself how very thankful you are that you simply woke up and had the opportunity to experience the day. Thankful Turtle does a little happy dance and that makes you giggle. He reminds you of all there is to be grateful for in life, big things and small things. Thankful Turtle reminds you about your family and friends who care deeply for you. These people love you just because you are you. You feel so good in your heart knowing that you're loved and cared for. Life is so much better when we take time to be grateful for all we have 
and all that we experience. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and give your body a big stretch. Please take care of yourself and others and have a great day and a restful and relaxing weekend. Take care, Kawartha Heights.